Hello and uh, welcome to MS-DOS Game Reviews. So, uh, as you probably know by now, we are playing some pretty old games made for MS-DOS on uh, some really new modern hardware with emulators to keep things uh, proper. So, what we are looking at today is Chuck Yeager's Advanced Flight Simulator, and you can grab a copy here on uh, MS uh, my, my abandoned way. Um, and yeah, released 1987 as a flight simulator by Electronic Arts. Now, Electronic Arts has a reputation of, of well polished games, and uh, there's a 105 kilobyte download and a, and a little bit of a description. And you can see that's just playing CGA modes. And then there's also, uh, it looks like some, some more colors down there. And black and white. Okay, so there's a couple of, couple of comments, not, not that many. And then on the downloads, you have the 105 kilobyte one. And you have the complete package of Alien Factory and Docs and 73 megs. And this is the one that I got. I mean, 73 megs is not much. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's pop over to what you get. Uh, the first thing, very important, is the manual. So, let's, uh, let's get that nice and full screen. Chuck Yeager's Advanced Flight. Trainer, and that will probably be the icon for this video. And it goes on what it is. And I have not played this game beyond making it work. Yeah. So it tells you there's a bunch of real aircraft, and uh, there's, there's lots and lots of quotes from General Chuck Yeager. So uh, he's, he was an icon. Um, so you control the plane using a joystick, using a memory keypad, using a mouse, using a Mac computer. So, uh, they don't tell you much about the keys. Um, tells you you can uh, fiddle a bit with your monitor. This is really important. So, if you have a if you have a color graphics adapter, this program can't tell whether you're using RGB or a composite color. So um, I'm emulating composite color, and uh, so it tells you how to how to change it. So we'll, we'll go through that because there's no setting. You can't tell this program that you will be using a composite, and it doesn't ask. No default setting that you can set. Okay, so um, yeah, and. Printing the test flight checklist and then using a TV as a composite monitor. Some more advancements to your setup. And then it starts with aircraft. And each aircraft has things about it, some, some attributes. And these are used as copy protection. So I'll get onto that in a minute. Let's, let's get back to the program. So there's some flight addendums and also buttons you press to to, to actually control the thing. Um, but you also get mm, there's some tips. Right, okay, I haven't played with that. Uh, what you also get are some audio files. So uh, yes. flying can be a lot of fun, but you never know what the outcome of a flight is going to be. Uh, just imagine it's 1947, and you're sitting in the cramped cockpit of the Bell X-1, the research airplane designed to break the sound barrier. And nobody knows if the sound barrier can be broken, but you've got a hunch it can be broken, but there are a lot of good aviation people out there who think that air loads go to infinite at the speed of sound. Now, that makes you a little bit unsure, and you're facing a tough opponent, really the unknown. And you've just been dropped from the dark bomb bay of a B-29, and then the sunlight's blinding. And the X-1 is loaded with liquid oxygen and alcohol, and it's gliding like a rock. 
about 500 feet below the mothership. Yeah, so uh, that's the guy. He definitely does sound uh, very, very uh, knowledgeable in his field. In any case, so let's let's go take a look at the game. Finally, you know, you guys are probably like, "Oh man, just get on with it." Here we are. So, first thing that pops up is what is this paint ceiling and feet? So that looks like a Mustang, but I'll just pop over to the manual and uh, not that one, that one, and it's all these sorts of different aircraft. There we go. North American P-51 Mustang, and what did they say? Ceiling, ceiling is 41,900 feet. Uh, four, one, five, Wrong answer. Ah, aft. Let's try again. What is this plane's length in feet? Oh. Oh. Let's go take another look. What's this guy, yeah? Length, 100 feet, 4 inches. Oh, oh, it may not be that one. One hundred point four. Oh, so as you, as you get your note, what is this plane's length and feet? Oh, let's see. Hacking past the plane and feet. 32.3. Must be this one. 32.3. Oh, dear. What oh, does this plane's thrust in bounds at your very experimental bombing type thing? Ball. Am I getting them all wrong? Well, it's one. Okay. Is it this one? I can't tell. Looks like this one. And what do I want? Thrust in pounds. Thrust in pounds. 6,000 pounds. Hey! So we go to the in Trifla, I press escape and we go to system and enter and then we tell it we're using composite. So there we go, lots of colors, lots of sound and I'm emulating a fairly fast machine and it looks like this game actually allows proper flight uh, in that it, it, it allows the computer to put, to draw more frames. So for, well, while I was emulating a slower machine, it, it would still fly the same, and it would just be less frames. So uh, this this is as much as I've played the game. I was, I was watching this little uh, intro, and this guy is definitely having fun with this airplane. So, uh, beautiful composite graphics. This is the, the most color you can get out of CGA. Uh, of course, you lose a bit of resolution, but uh, having played the other other modes, they, they didn't have any more resolution, so I decided uh, I'll just go for the colors. So, it's flying, but back, uh, I'll, I'll finish a demo in a minute. It was just towards the end, it was kind of nice. They, had the Electronic Arts logo all in 3D. So, uh, what is he doing? Some very colorful, colorful objects on the ground there. It spins around and there we are electronic art so okay I'm gonna press escape and uh, let's see 
Find menu, system zoom, all right, options. So F1 reset, escape, let's see, sound, no sound. Okay, and then also it says system mouse, I don't know. We will we'll check a minute there. So main menu, test flight. And I don't know, pressing keys here just randomly. Next. Breaks it off. Power. Ah, uh, that's a power. Uh, we're moving. We're moving. Whatever we're flying. XPG 12. What is this button? Why? Ah, let's go full power. Um, yeah, that, that didn't work. <laughs> I didn't know, don't know why I expected it would. Uh, let's take a says now. And, uh, breaks off, power on. Power is just plus. And I think the runway is off to my left here. There's no way. Man, I'm already in the air straight out of the hangar. <laughs> okay, definitely. Okay, I see. We have this little. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. How oh, do I put gear yeah, up? Press the key. Okay, let's pause. Now, if I go with looking at the gear, maybe maybe this plane. Oh, what is that? Cockpit. Ah, I'm behind the plane. Fantastic. Great little flight simulator. And all the views. Get back in. So, side views. Oh, ooh, all the views. Okay. Still looking. Flaps down, flaps up. Okay. Flaps up. It, it really uh, feels like a really good flight simulator already. I'm just, just practicing here. I, like I said, I have not read the manual apart from how, how to get past copy protection. It feels really good. It's, oh, oh, my mouse is alive. I can fly with a mouse. Um, it's probably not a good thing. But yeah, in, in this era, we're getting to the back end of CGA graphics. As you can see, they definitely wanted to be inclusive and put as many uh, people in there, uh, you know, get this game out to as many people as, as, as possible. So uh, they, they coded it for CGA, even though EGA was available. And uh, yeah, even on the Tandy monitors, but they didn't aim for Tandy. The Tandy would, would give the same amount of colors at a higher resolution, but not everybody had a Tandy. Everybody had CGA capability, and I think that's that's what they went for with this game. As to, to put it in as many hands as possible and uh, rather than have various uh, various modes that you can pick beforehand I just went CGA and that's it so came suffered a bit there. there there were later versions of this I believe 
that that works really well. Um, I've got no idea where I am really, uh, but it is definitely a nice little flight simulator. Uh, very colourful for CGA. Oh. And uh, yeah, flying my little Cessna around thousand foot. Uh, and it's a flight simulator, it's not an air combat simulator. So, yeah, what is this? Let's get out of the cockpit. Uh, oh, yeah. This is a lot of fun. It plays really smoothly uh, on, on this fast machine that I'm emulating. I'm seeing a dot. What is that? What is that? Anyways, yeah, it looks it looks fun. It looks fun. I'm not going to waste too much of your time with it. Um, apparently, you can change aircraft. So we can go for uh, 16. Oh, it puts me back on the ground. Yeah. Full power. Now, these guys have a little bit of horsepower. Oops. Oh, smashed, yeah. Location hangar, plane. Let's try again. Straight off the bat, we are in the air, and this guy's moving. Gear up, brakes on, off. Yeah, we're in the air. So now, now we're flying something a little bit more potent than the Cessna. We're definitely, definitely flying, yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, I was just getting used to my mouse controls. That's... <laughs> now that was some crash. Get back in there and do it right. Fantastic. I like it. Uh, hopefully you guys like this little video and uh, we'll see each other on the next one. But in the meantime, have a fantastic day and uh, goodbye.